Hi! This video demonstrates how the individual case for Samsung Galaxy S4 was designed and 3D printed. Sellers is used to design the case and AppMini 3D printer builds it. I will also show you how to fix possible 3D printed issues with help of special Silos custom utility. Let's start from creating the model of case in Silos part environment applying base Silos feature. Do not forget to cut all needed holes according to form design. Now I'm running Silos custom utility to prepare the model for printing by clicking the button on the toolbar. It allows you to specify the printing setting on the shown property manager page. First, it will help to fit the design into the printing dimension. This particular part needs to be divided into two pieces. The tool adds the puzzle-like splits to simplify the process of assembling the final model. The utility previews how the case will look like. The software adds the 3D printing feature into the feature tree. As you can see, the model was split in one click using this helper utility. This case is designed for ladies, so I'm adding some monograms on it. One of the problems you could run into while printing this or similar model is known as warping. This happens due to thermal shrinkage of ABS plastic. As a result, the corners of printed model can unstick from the platform as shown on the pictures. The utility helps to fix this issue by adding small discs in each corner of the model, also known as mouse ear. You may specify additional parameters such as disc diameter and gap between it and the model. Split parts are highlighted in a graphics view by moving the mouse over them. The parts are exported to STL format and now they are ready to be sent to a 3D printer. I'm inserting and fixing the platform in the 3D printer stand. Now model is building layer by layer. Depending on the printer settings it may take several hours. It's finished and I'm gently removing the platform from a stand. Using the special tools, I can detach part from a support material. Let's fit the case to the phone. As you can see, it fits correctly. Now the second part of the model is being printed. The second part is also finished. Now I should repeat similar steps to detach the model from the support material. Now we can assemble both parts together. Here we have the final painted case and I just need to put the phone inside. It fits nicely. Thank you for watching this video.